DC here, hi guys and gals. Well, I hope you're well. It is Christmas Eve and it's the penultimate day for the Vlogmas series. Yeah, I'm kind of happy actually it's coming to to the end, you know, you kind of think, well, I gotta think of things and stuff like that. And I didn't really write, a, you know, a series of prompts or what I had. I did have a list that I found and I took some things every now and then, but yeah, didn't always want to do what was there. So Christmas Eve, yeah, kids, it's almost there. Santa is loading up his sled or his sleigh. <laughs> Let me see, what's the difference between a sleigh and a sled? Oh well. And uh, he's loading up his sleigh and uh, you know, the reindeers are having their their last, you know, cookies and milk or drinks or whatever. And they're almost ready to go. Yeah. Well, and you can see here, for the last few days, it has actually been very warm. Uh, not, you know, cool but warm you know uh, so yeah we had a bit of snow we always have snow before Christmas over here usually and end up having snow more after it's not all that frequent that we have a really white Christmas here sometimes it's more of a frosty Christmas yeah you see here we have uh, this little I was gonna say pavilion and it's not supposed to have too much weight on it so I bought one of these things the other day to, to scrape off, scrape off the snow. It's made like for, you know, decks and stuff like that. Anyways, I used it once already, but uh, in the meantime, no. Yeah, so I, today is a special day as well. I think the topic today I'll say is like, uh, what do you do when you have birthdays at Christmas periods or Easter or something like that, you know, uh, so my mom's birthday today. Yeah, so happy birthday mom and uh, You know uh, in two well three days on the 27th. It is uh, Michael's birthday So in the family we have two birthdays in the Christmas season So my mom's name, you know, uh, her second name is Noella was it's really not really much of a surprise if you were born on the Christmas Eve and uh, Michael well he was named after uh, the Archangel Michael that's what my son told me so yeah anyway so that's the story over there so what do you do I mean do we have I, I realize that with my mom we kind of combine I think I have an aunt also uh, who's born on the 24th so but with these families you know since we always got together on on Christmas Eve, because it was on the French side of the family. Um, since we always got together on Christmas Eve, we really did end up combining uh, Christmas and their birthdays. Yes, we got a birthday present, and yes, we probably got a Christmas present, or we made a, a bigger present at Christmas, but <clears throat> it kind of always got kind of mixed up together. And I think that's often the case when somebody has you know, a birthday around Christmas, very often uh, the things get confounded. With Michael, we've been talking, well, we've had that chat with the, the kids, or I should put it the other way around, they've had the chat with us, that we're really going to try and work hard to make it two separate things. And what happens this year? This effing virus, which makes it we don't get together as much. So actually, we're going to have, uh, they're coming over a little bit today, but we're really going to do uh, Christmas and a birthday on the 27th. So uh, my daughter-in-law, who is also a baker, and uh, she, she's making a really nice cake, supposedly. Well, we'll see how, how it goes when you're a mom with two kids. Sometimes it's a little bit tight. But she's supposed to make the cake. I'll be making the meal on, uh, on the 27th, which is going to be Sunday. Yeah, so, but we really try and we separate out the presents so that, uh, you know, it doesn't gonna be, it's not all at the same time. Like I say, this year might be the exception, but we'll try and have it the exception and not the rule. Yeah, but it is a complicated thing, isn't it? On the one hand, I mean, you know, you, you think about it, you, you put money aside for, for a present, 
uh, be it for Christmas or for birthday and you might have to think about you know if, if, if it's that present to uh, try and make two presents not just one big one I don't know that's the way probably I'm seeing it now because it does really like separate out things but yeah we'll see do you have any situations in your family or even or yourselves where you know your birthdays or or family members like I say are close to to Christmas and then that gets complicated for separating the birthday party from the holiday yeah anyway oh on a sadder note though my my second son uh, him, and, him and his partner they've had to well they've lost their cat the cat was very very sick uh, and had to be uh, euthanized today actually so the cat was close to 18 years old so you can imagine it's a was one of their fur babies and uh, for them it's really really hard because in the last year they've lost both of their of their cats of many years so that is you know add to all to everything else that's going on this year they're really down in the dumps I have to say that yeah so it's not an easy time either yeah so anyway as you can see I'm walking around because I decided to come outside quickly as Mrs. DC was doing a bit of cleaning and I just kind of get in her way you know if I do this I thought okay let's just go outside a little bit okay well that's gonna be it vlogmas 24 yeah okay one more because I am going to do vlogmas as many people I'm going to stop on I'm going to do the 25th and that's it and then we'll go back to normal vlogging okay DC signing off everybody take care and well it's almost Merry Christmas bye bye